Hey, let's discuss the big words banking history, shall we? Today is March 23rd, and in 1881, it would have been a Wednesday. Now, it would have been the second day of the second reopening of what was the Penny Savings Bank. Now, in modern-day Tobago, especially in Scarborough, we have a number of financial institutions like banks, we have credit unions, we have a number of ATMs, and we also have loaning facilities. But that was not quite the case in 1882. In fact, 141 years ago today, you would have had to go into the store of a colored merchant and planter named Thomas Blakely Jr. in order to deposit your money into the Penny Savings Bank. Now the bank was opened twice. It was first opened in 1877 and then again in 1881. Both times the bank was the idea or brainchild of a Joseph Grimshaw who was a master tailor in Scarborough. Everyone on the island saw the need for a bank. There had not been a bank on the island since 1847, which incidentally was also around the same time of not only the commercial crisis in Tobago, it was also, um, it, at the time it was the last hurricane was in 1847. So the laboring class supported the bank, the middle strata of Tobago supported the bank, the agriculturalists supported the bank, the metayers supported the bank because they were saving their money in touch roofs or burying it in the ground. Um, persons were even buying animals to try and hold their savings, right? Like in, not, not physical, why they like this? Not physically in the animal. They bought the animals to represent the wealth of the money, right? To hold on to the wealth of the money. Teachers and officials were grateful for the bank too because them was getting paid in a raise, which means they had to seek out credit from merchants and persons who were giving them rates as high as 40%. Well, if the 1877 effort of the bank was short-lived, its reopening in 1881 only showed slightly better promise because in the words of that definitive voice of our time, Jay-Z, Sean Carter, it was grand opening, grand closing. So how did it all go down? Well, at the request of the depositors, the government took over the net deposits of £116, which would have been about £15,000 in 2022 money. The money was to be used as the nucleus of a government savings bank. But of course, there was bacchanal because Tobago's then treasurer, Lord Hay, was to be paid £100 per annum to run the bank. Now, £100 would have been about £12,000 um, in 2022 money. Depositors 